What's up guys, Claudio here, checking in with the update list and notes for the patch of May the 13th. Um, the maintenance, which was supposed to last 10 hours, was of course extended to be 12 hours, so finished at 6 a.m. As a result of that, I am sounding even more dead than usual, and I guess I can't make fun of me for uh, weird sleeping patterns, but alright, let's get to the patch notes and see what Vespa has in store for us. Um, if we go here, um, the first section is of course the balance adjustments for the two protagonists of um, the first season of King's Raid, Castle and Close. Um, I did read through this and it seemed, well, not gonna go into super deep details because that will be separate, but yeah, Klaus is now um, a generic tank, works both for physical and magic DPS, so that's quite nice, and kind of overtakes Neraxis in usefulness, so... Also, some people have said that Asalekia is also dead now. Um, so yeah, definitely a very good and character, I suppose many can be super happy now. Um, yeah, so Klaus got definitely a good update there. Castle received some non-hero damage for PvE, which is nice, and has become even scarier in PvP. I don't consider myself terribly great at PvP, and I honestly do not like it in King's Raid. And um, I already didn't like running into build castles, I'm sure I will like them even less now. We will see how that turns out, but got to say that now that he is uh, also having CC immunity and stuff, it's gonna be so great. Well, maybe he had that before. Actually, it's too late for me to remember such things, but yeah, he got a tremendous amount of buffs for PvP. How Cancer is gonna be remains to be seen. Uh, a lot of people were like super salty in the comments and like taking it out on Flynn and stuff like that. Um, I don't know about that, but yeah, definitely he seems to be stronger than he was before. Let's move on, let's see what else we have from the patch. Now we have the sub-story of Roy, which is uh, which consists of two parts, part 1 and part 2, and they say part 1 is, is being added now. Well, now these images are super low res, I wonder why they couldn't put like better ones in here. Um, to unlock it you will need to uh, clear stage 10 one, and yeah, you can receive some rewards for clearing it. As with all the sub uh, the sub stories, and I guess we will get a sub story too at some point. The special event dungeon Juno's cooking quest is being extended until the next maintenance on the 25th of May. And boy, oh boy, I was actually looking forward to not having to run this anymore. Um, I'm like super out of stamina on all my accounts, and I would like to turn off my PC sometimes. So, God's sake, Westfall, please stop this event. Um, one interesting note here, and I'm not quite sure what they meant here, that extra wooden chopping boards will not be charged as the event period will be extended. Um, so the chopping boards are the keys for the event, but when I logged in actually I had one extra, so I don't know what they mean that it will not be charged. Um, I thought it might mean that you get, can get any more entries to the story dungeon part, but as I said I did have one uh, on my account, so... I don't know, whatever, we get to run this even more, um, yeah, if you still have stamina to spend then you can farm it uh, some more. Now, League of Honor's regular season 13 is gonna open with all the 13 numbers guys, um, so they will be uh, showing the preview and stuff and the shop is reset and updated, so we can buy it out again if you have bought it for this week already. Um, there are some change in the shop, of course, and here is a preview of Kibera. Well, the ornamental design is really nice, and I think in the story he is actually from some Eastern Kingdom, so that's kind of fitting. And then here is Urzi, who also is actually from that area, as I recall, being sisters with uh, Seria. And got to say, this one is super hot. I always liked Urzi's design, and I, yeah, I, I just like this one. I, I leave it at that. And then here they so, uh, show the accessories, which uh, will be coming with, with the rewards, of course. Not too bad. The masks are like, I guess, 2020-2021 fashion now. Alright, um, 
moving on, there is a difficulty level adjustment for uh, the sub stories challenge uh, challenge stages and the difficulty for stages eight to ten. Um, I think chapter eight was still pretty easy. I did that recently with two accounts. It's chapter nine where newer accounts start to struggle a bit, especially around 913 where you are introduced to divers and stuff that one hits your backline. So if you don't have like a built normal fray, then that can be a bit tough. Other than that, I don't think it was a terribly tough um, uh, battle. Chapter 10 can be, but like, yeah, if you build your uh, heroes properly, then it's not too hard. So mixed feelings about that, but whatever. I guess Vespa's intent is that it's e uh, that it gets easier for people to catch up with end game stuff. So it's like whatever. Now the the sexy part, client stabilization. So as they have promised, they did three changes here. The first one is changing how Eclipse works. Basically, it only does network verification at the end of the final battle. And in order to say battle data loading will be proceeded when switching teams party. Okay. Now this is an interesting one. If crashing issues occur during Eclipse battle, parties that have not completed battles will start from the starting wave when you return back to the battle. So that kind of means that if you, the way I understand this is that if you crash during a battle, then you do not lose that actual entry, but you will restart from your starting wave. Um, if I understand this correctly, which kind of means that you could cheese it by closing the application if you like messed up, but like imagine doing that anyway. So yeah, we'll see if that actually is the way it works. Um, if you return back to the battle after encountering battle sus suspension issues or crashing issues, your heroes will continue battles with gear that have been equipped, so you can't like uh, change gears around. All right, uh, looks good. I hope fewer crashes. Crashes in Eclipse are really annoying. Now gear preset and gearbox optimization. So they did mention that they're gonna take away this change gear option because it was taking huge uh, computation loads onto the client and causing lag when you were switching gears. I did try this real quick and yeah, my gear sets are loading in like two seconds now. Before that I would often actually time out and just crash or or have to close the client completely. So yeah, this is good stuff. This definitely works now and I'm quite happy with it. Um, yeah, and then there is cutscenes optimization. Improvements will be made to issues with memory accumulation when playing cutscenes. Yeah, I've definitely seen this happen in the past where if I watched a couple of cutscenes uh, anywhere, then after a while the game would just quit and run out of memory or run out of memory and quit, whatever. Um, but is not included and a lot of people were hoping for is like fixing crash issues with guild content like uh, GC, which is of course a very important for people who are competitive and a bit of a downer, I suppose, that there is no word about this from Vespa. But yeah, it's whatever. Uh, convenience improvements, again, something they have uh, promised that the entry limits to the secret dungeons in the memory archive, so the story dungeons that you can replay, uh, will be reduced to 10. So previously it was 50 and before that it was like 200 and they are increasing the rewards by five times. So you get the same as you did before, just with fewer entries, which is quite all right. It means less grinding. They are terribly boring anyway and you just auto them. Improvements to Stone of Infinity Crafting. So now you can craft like um, a set amount and you do not have to do it one by one. Quality of life change. It was high time to do that. Motions in the forge will be simplified. So when you are doing awakening uh, for gear, there will be only one hammering motion. So you get to see Jin breaking your items a bit less. Now, uh, changing to the unique weapon awakening stone, it seems like Vespa found out that we have been abusing these items to uh, level up NPC weapons. So they are separating it into two different types, unique weapon awakening store, which works for normal heroes and Lua's unique weapon awakening stone, which works for any type of heroes, including NPC heroes. Now they specif uh, specifically mentioned that the ones in our inventory stone will turn into Lua 
did I say inventory stone? Yes. So in our inventories will uh, be exchanged to Lua's unique weapon stone so you do not lose the possibility to use these on NPCs, which is like a nice um, thing from Vespa to do. And yeah, in the future they might be handing out more of these without like uh, making it too easy to level up NPCs and I guess the Lua ones will be more rare still. And then of course we will have Challenge Rail Torp and Satria coming back, which is quite nice. Uh, we'll be giving NPC stuff. Now there are some balance rate that the usual balance adjustments, more HP def, whatever. Not terribly interesting. Okay, some modeling and skill fix issues. And yeah, <laughs> I like this one. Issues where negative numbers were shown when items were sold over a certain amount. I had this in, in like my gold video. Um, yeah, so that's the balance, uh, the balance, the patch notes, mainly focused on the balance and like preparing the hype for the chapter 10 final, which I hope you guys have already signed up for. Um, the rewards are pretty sexy. I have, I have to say, I went over them the other night and they are really, really, really nice. But all right, let's see what else we have. So there is an event page which brings back the Esker event. Basically, you get to do like rolls every day, and depending if you can guess whether it's a, an odd or an even number, you will get rewards. And if you can get like a winning streak, then you get even more rewards. I honestly really didn't like this one because it took so long. The dice rolls were just so slow, I just wanted to like uh, get me out of here. Um, but yeah, you get extra rolls by spending uh, time in battles. They do say that uh, certain things do not apply, um, whatever, it's a fairly simple event. And the rewards are nice, transcendence points, unique treasure ticket, unique gear ticket, so that's quite good. And there is some stamina potions and gold involved as well. Um, so that's quite all right. And I believe here they said that uh, they also involve um, these patch battles, so you get, you get points for that too. Yeah, here it is even failed this special battles count. Now then of course with the with the hype for the final uh, chapter 10 final there will be a login event countdown kind of thing from the 18th of May so five days from now. So every day you need to log in and you can claim some rewards that day. These are pretty nice. All you need to do is log in for them. So definitely should do that. Um, all right. Then what else do we have? Oh, is there a costume to get somewhere? Oh yeah, there it is. I'm just blind. All right. Um, bum, 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 bum. You can only obtain the reward on the date. All right. So rate coin bonus. So all the rates uh, will be giving increased amount of coins, and the event is not applied to this special battle mode. So that's a bit of a downer. And I saw something interesting in the comment section somewhere that suggested that. Vespa might be actually doing this because this way they can increase the playtime within the game which probably is measured in like the Google uh, store and, and the Apple store so um, you know I suppose they do measure how much time people spend in their uh, applications and this is a way for Vespa to boost that. If that is their intention that's I would say that's quite um, yeah, not nice. They really could be uh, considered that like not everyone has a computer to play on, and for a mobile phone, the game is quite deadly if you have to run it like nonstop, like we have been for more than two weeks now. But okay, Hero Awakening Transcendence discount is coming. That's also quite nice and double kinship rate. I always love this for my alts because they badly need new heroes. And whoever says. Um, that you shouldn't buy heroes with them uh, with rubies. Um, yeah, I just disagree. Whatever. Let's see. There is um, adventures with King's Raid sub stories event. Basically, you need to play all, essentially all the um, uh, sub stories and clear the final boss. Uh, if you do eight of them, so that's all of them, then you will get 1k unique weapon fragments and 1k unique treasure fragments. They say if you have already cleared 
uh, a sub story then you will need to kill the final boss again so that's how it will get counted and there was a question here that GM Grammary answered that hard mode challenge battle uh, challenge stage counts as well so you do not need to be actually do hell you can just do hard but yeah you will need to do this and don't forget that there is actually a participation survey that you also need to do otherwise your clears will not count and you will not be getting the reward so don't forget about that and I guess I'll try and put this into the description just for Hayus' sake because otherwise you wouldn't find it and the shop um, I've scrolled through is there is again alright let's talk about this so there is a step up summon uh, again for Castle Frey and uh, Klaus and it is uh, changed to 25,000 rubies now which I think is all right. I mean, the light costumes aren't that special. They look okay, but like aren't really different art as it was with other costumes. Um, I did think that the step up summons for 45k were too expensive, really. Um, but then again, we do not know whether they are also changing the new one, the the step up summon for new heroes. Like we are getting Isaiah at the end of the month and it very well might be that uh, the step up summon for her will be coming with a that she will be coming with a step up summon and the new costume which will then cost us 45k again um we'll see it's it's kind of unclear right now unless i miss something uh, but yeah it might just be that the rebalance heroes will be 25k and the new ones will still be 45 um i guess we wait and see and find out Yes, I saw some people being a bit like uh, salty about uh, previously having both stuff for 45. I personally have three heroes with step up uh, summon costumes and well, it's whatever guys. I mean, the game evolves, the company re-evaluates re things. Maybe they felt that 45 was too much. Uh, it's not really the end of the wor world that now it becomes cheaper. So I wouldn't really complain about that. Uh, moving on, well the shop has some new stuff, one thing that I saw and I may not be able to find it now. Um, <laughs> so there is a maze lucky box kind of thing, uh, which you can buy for 1k rubies each day, uh, here it is. So maze special lucky package, which you can buy for a thousand rubies and you can only buy one at one per day. And then this will turn into one of these lucky boxes which you can get some rewards from. So this can be the lowest one is 10 stamina potions and uh, 100 fragments of unique weapons and unique treasure and then it goes all the way up to like 300 potions and the unique weapon ticket, unique treasure ticket and the soul stone ticket. So if you get lucky with this one that can be pretty nice. The low one is like very very low for 1k um, rubies that feels like um, I would be super sad to get this one so I don't know if I'm gonna actually try this I might try it just to see how it goes but I have a, like a sinking feeling that I will be getting this one and I will just not feel terribly happy about it other than that I haven't really seen anything in the shop that I thought was worth really buying maybe there is something for you guys or if I miss something let me know because who knows also, I've kind of put a stop on my waiting for now. Um, and that's it really. That's it really, guys. Um, I said, it's mostly about the balance changes and the client fixes. And then we get to be hyped for the final chapter update in 12 days from now. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, guys, this has been Cloudy for now. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.